there's a reason as to why I'm addressing this as opposed to the NFL boycotts and the National Anthem protests, and I can summarize them in two words. Self-care. Dear America, Winston Weathermore here, not to be confused with Winston Zeddemore, who, despite being a baby boomer, is the closest out of the original four Ghostbusters to be able to relate to millennials. If there's a steady paycheck in it, I'll believe anything you say. Now, I'm unaware of how many of your current constituents are aware of this, America, but one of your greatest treasures are about to be destroyed. I'm of course addressing the fact that on the 19th of September, the city of Chicago issued a permit for the demolition of the home that was used to portray the Winslow household of the beloved 90s sitcom Family Matters. According to news outlets, it will be replaced with a three-unit condo building, red flag number one, and will utilize the walk-in area to pay tribute to the show by adorning it in framed pictures of the house and the cast, which, in my opinion, is the most ridiculous compromise I've ever heard of. Especially since Family Matters, one of the most successful African-American sitcoms of the 1990s since The Cosby Show, is in fact the second best TGIF sitcom on ABC in said decade. Yet while the house from Family Matters is being destroyed for condos with a small section of it dedicated to his iconography, the full house house in San Francisco, on the other hand, is perfectly preserved and continues to act as a tourist attraction to this day. And that's mostly due to the creator of Full House, Jeff Franklin, who not only purchased the Full House house for four million dollars, because San Francisco was made for rich people, but also renovated the exterior as it appeared in the show's opening credits and has plans to retrofit and lease the house to the public. Meanwhile, Michael Warren and William Bigley, the creators of Family Matters, are nowhere to be seen. But I should be plain when I say this, America. I do not blame the creators of Family Matter for not treating the house with the same respect as the creator of Full House has treated its property. I, in fact, blame the city of Chicago. Because with the plans released to the public regarding what they plan to do with said property and how they're going to treat it, I must say, America, that unfortunately, this seems to be another situation of... you know what. I'm of course talking about the word that starts with the letter G and rhymes with specification. Gen gentrification, I I'm speaking about gentrification. Fortunately, there are others out there who wish to properly preserve a piece of iconic history, America. A petition over on thepetitionsite.com was created on the 22nd of September, the day that this news initially dropped. If you click the link in the description box below, you will be taken to the site where you can sign up just as Master Reedus has recently done. However, if you're one of those rare individuals that don't personally believe that petitions work, then you'll be happy to know that the house is both old and significant enough to be placed in the National Register of Historic Places program. So if you're one of those well-versed individuals who know how to navigate through such things, a link to the information on the National Park Service's website will also be in the description box as well. America, those within you have recently shown that we are indeed capable of great change when we are in unison. So let's accomplish the same thing here, and do whatever we can to save the staple of television, American, and African American history. Yes, there is, in fact, a difference between American and African-American history. But we'll get to that topic later. Sincerely yours, Winston Weathermore.